What's up guys, ladies, gentlemen, turn of all ages, Steady here with another gameplay, and today we're going to talk about the mindset of a sniper. But uh, these tips are all over the place where you can look and just find it yourself, and also a lot of it's common sense. But the first thing you want to do as a sniper is have the mindset of uh, going to their flank. Being head on with anyone else that has a fully automatic weapon or anything else that's able to, to put more rounds down range a lot faster head on is not the best idea. Nine times out of ten you're probably going to lose because unless you got that sweet spot going on and even if your rifle has the sweet spot you're not going to be able to kill them assuming again that you're in the sweet spot and you hit them above the chest. So definitely want to be at their flank which means being at their side or behind them. This, uh, this way it gives you the advantage. You want to stack the cards in your favor. If someone is not completely to, if you're not completely to someone's flank, my suggestion is not to engage them, but to get away if you can. Moving on. Aim at the chest. So, real snipers are taught to aim at center mass. The reason being is because it's a bigger target to hit, and it's the less chance of you missing, and also, you'll kill them. Nine times out of ten, especially if in this game you are using the sweet spot. If your range is between 60 to 120, such as the uh, Russian um, sniper rifle, then make sure you're within that range. If you aim at their chest, they're going to die every single time. No matter what their health is, it could be 100, they will drop. You don't have to hit the headshot. Sometimes, however, that's something you can hit, but if you can aim with the chest, that's what I suggest doing is aiming at the chest. The next thing is, this is very simple, take the shot. You'll see a lot of my clips where I literally just take the shot. I don't try and aim it or set it up perfectly. I literally will try and put it next to them as best as I can and then take the shot. If I miss, I miss. What do I lose? Nothing. But if I hit them and kill them, I gain a kill. Taking the time to line up a shot is going to completely take you away from everything else. It's going to make you oblivious. You're going to get tunnel vision. You're not going to be able to pay attention to what's going on around you. And if you're using a scope, it's going to cause that glint to happen, which is in one of my other videos I recommend not doing, is aiming down sights for more than three to four seconds. And if you've got trying to set the perfect shot, guess what you're going to do? Aim longer than three to four seconds. Next thing is the follow-up. If you shoot someone and hit them, especially if they're within a little bit closer distance, following up means switching to your pistol because your sniper rifle may not be able to put another round into the chamber fast enough. So following up is simply just switching to your pistol and aiming down sights to shoot and kill them or spray and pray. This is the next tip and I put this in the other one and it's definitely one you always need to follow. Move after your kill. Maybe two or three is max but you need to be moving. Especially again if you're using a scope because again that glint is going to pop up and you're going to be right there. It's easy for people to find you. And after you kill someone, you can bet your bottom dollar, especially if you're just laying there, you know, doing what you're supposed to do prone, someone's going to come back for you because they're mad at you for camping. So you're doing your job, but a lot of people don't see it that way. Make sure you move after you get one or two kills. Three max. And the last thing, know the sweet spot for your weapon that you're using. I can't emphasize this enough. The thing I would recommend is running with the uh, the telescope uh, uh, gadget, and you can gauge and see, assuming that it doesn't bug out, where the wherever you're aiming at, how far that distance is, and place yourself in that sweet spot. Um, remember that the sweet spots can vary anywhere between 30 meters to 100 meters. So just go to uh, Simtic.com and look up and see which one you use the most is. I can go ahead and tell you that the SMLE, which is the most common used sniper rifle, is from 40 to 75 meters. Another tip is if you're looking at a flag, it will actually tell you how far that flag is so you can gauge right there. So don't forget to adjust um, your range or your, not your range, but uh, adjust your scope or your weapon to the range that is correct for you, such as 150 meters, 75 meters, or 300 meters, and make sure that you're within that sweet spot. Well, that'll do it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a comment down below telling me what you liked about it. Maybe even give me a recommendation of some things I missed. Also, leave a like, and I'll see you guys next time.